Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 11th of 2021, well, it is titled Cygnus Mosaic 2010 to 2020. So what do we see here? Well, this is looking at the constellation of Cygnus uh, up in the northern sky. And that is one of the constellations that happens to run through the plane of our galaxy. So when we look at that region, we see a lot more of nebulae and such that we look at such as in the image today. And this is an image that was taken using 400 hours worth of imaging data. So 400 hours worth of exposures and covering a large area of the sky. Now sketched out in there is the Northern Cross, which is an example of an asterism. An asterism is a grouping of stars that is not a constellation. It may be part of one constellation such as this one where the Northern Cross is entirely within the constellation of Cygnus. And you can see it traced out here from the longer part of the cross going from left to right, and then going through the middle uh, down to down, we see the shorter part of the cross. Now that's all within Cygnus. We have other asterisms such as the summer triangle of which Deneb the bright star furthest to the left is one of the three stars and that includes stars in three different constellations. So an asterism is simply a grouping of bright stars that helps us identify parts of the sky. Now we can also see a lot of the different nebulae here uh, that we've that have been looked at before we've looked at some of these a much closer up in more detail. But we see some things like just below and to the left of uh, Deneb we see the North America nebula and the Pelican nebula just down below that on the left hand side, as well as a large number of other nebulae, which are all associated with star formation when stars form their energy and especially the ultraviolet light they produce will energize the gases around them and cause them to glow. And that's what we're seeing in this image is glowing gas left over from around the star forming regions. So when we see that kind of gas, which it's a sign of star formation, and we see it in our galaxy close up like this, but we also can see it in distant galaxies as well. So here we get to see a lot of detail of the region of the sky known as Cygnus or the Northern Cross that we look at in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for February the 11th of 2021. It was titled Cygnus Mosaic 2010 to 2020. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be I spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.